Hi, my name is Hannah Tronson, and today my team will be telling you about our company, Cycle. Cycle is a durable, reusable cotton pad made for the women in Kenya. More than half of the population in Kenya live below the poverty line. And that means more than 2 million girls still don't have access to sanitary products like pads and tampons. And since they do not have access to these products, they are left to make their own things. They start making things out of chicken feathers, cheap mattresses, and newspapers to fill that gap for them. But these are not only super ineffective, but they can also lead to very serious infections. We learned that in the Kenyan society, women are very less represented than men, and therefore the government isn't providing these materials for them. And since women make up 50% of the Kenyan population, our product is there to fill a prominent gap. We want our product to be accessible and easy to reuse for the women in Kenya so they don't have to repurchase it over and over. The reason we chose Kenya was because of three main reasons. Obviously, as I mentioned before, with two million women without these sanitary menstrual products, this is clearly a huge need. Along with that, we can make our product in Kenya because of the cheap materials offered there. Since the main material is cotton, the Republic of Kenya's Ministry of Industrialization, Trade, and Enterprise Development recently announced that cotton farmers would be provided with the certified seeds in a fresh bid by the government to increase the production of the crop and boost the textile industry. This action will increase the supply of cotton and decrease the price per bale, making it very easy to make our product. Lastly, the external environment of what is going on in Kenya does make it easier for us to provide the product for the women. Kenya recently repealed its value-added tax on pads and tampons in 2004 to lower the price consumers pay. And since 2011, the Kenyan government has been budgeting about $3 million per year to distribute free sanitary pads in schools and low-income communities. These factors will further allow our organization to provide these low-cost sanitary pads to women residing in the country by partnering with the government. Clearly, these, these aspects give us a bigger opportunity to get our product out to the Kenyan women. Our market research enabled us to understand that although there is a huge market already in place for feminine hygiene products, there is still a lot more that can be focused on. The products that are used in the United States and other first world countries who have access to them are not eco-friendly and contribute to a lot of ways, just like toilet paper. We have the opportunity to not only change the way that people use these products for the betterment of the world's future, but we also have the opportunity to help people in need of them, just like the country of Kenya. What makes this product unique is that the pad is made of cotton that is domestically grown and is durable enough to last a woman at least three menstrual cycles. Um, this makes the product both cost and eco-friendly and it's an alternative to disposable pads. So disposable pads create a huge sanitary issue in Kenya since they do not have a proper waste disposal system currently in place. Our product is intended for first, adolescent girls and women. Second, for a health clinic. Our target user are low income women who, has, who have menstrual cycle. It is because the majority of population lives below the poverty line. Many women do not have the resources to buy disposable menstrual product every month. The women we will be targeting are as young as 10 to as 58. This is the age range of when menstruation typically starts to end. To sell cycle to our target user in Kenya, we should first target organization related to women's health. For example, WASH organization is one of the primary customer for Cycle. This organization is working to improve access to water, sanitation, facilities, and also they have committed to more promoting good hygiene practices in Kenya and the like. In addition, they are more knowledgeable in our product, but also because they are funded by the central government and various other sources around the world. Due to logistical reasons, providing our product to its appropriate end users will be difficult. 
which is why we plan to rely on distribution from the qualified organizations already experienced in the areas we seek to help. Our control of the product may decrease, though due to the larger role they have, we will be able to reach more people. We selected this strategy because Kenya is a very diverse country. And so as we're entering the market, we really need locals uh, to help us understand and really connect with the communities. And so um, we're, we're really excited to work with uh, partners who will help us get this product into the hands of a lot of consumers, not just in the cities, but rural areas as well. We intend to reach this customer through a billboard spread across through the major cities in Kenya, such as Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, and Eldoret. We will also use direct marketing by asking rural communities to show flyers of our product in a community area or building. Along with direct marketing, we hope to have female sales representatives visiting the large cities to spread awareness of our product. In the end, we hope to get the Kenyan government to become involved and help women get access to our products and get national exposure via their media channels. Later, if these channels are not effective, we may choose to sell directly to wholesalers and retailers. We will work with the transportation company that specializes in distribution to rural areas and that has strong ties to various small to medium sized grocery stores. Through research, we expect that channel access will be relatively easy due to the maturity of the transportation and logistics industry. The price of this product is 140 Kenyan shillings, which comes out to a dollar and 25 cents. Our plan is to reduce the cost of this product by five to 10 cents every single year with the help of economies of scale to really make it affordable for women all across the country. Hey, do you even care about the environment? Do you even like me? What? Of course I do. I water you every day. Then if you do, use this.